navigating education amidst the shadows of war. Uh, the streets of Kiev tell two stories. One of children with bright eyes looking ahead to a future they dream of. The other, a grim reminder of the ever-present perils that cloud their horizon. Parents like Katerina Polypenko face an unimaginable daily choice juxtaposing the hopes of an education against the grim realities of war. As she packs two backpacks for her son, each bag is emblematic of Ukraine's struggle. Aspiration and adversity, Russian aggression, having marred Ukraine for three academic years, has reshaped the very ethos of education in the nation. Traditional classrooms, once buzzing with the hum of learning, are now decision points where parents weigh safety against schooling. While many families are veering towards the online education pathway, driven by fears of physical danger, others, like Plypenko, choose the classroom, driven by a quest for normality amidst chaos. The city of Kiev, a historical and cultural epicenter, bears the dual burden of safeguarding its future generation while resisting external threats. The stark image of children carrying bomb shelter essentials alongside school books is emblematic of a generation that refuses to be defined by conflict alone. Nobel's diplomatic chessboard, balancing act in a polarized world. The revered corridors of the Nobel Foundation, usually echoing with tales of excellence, innovation, and global betterment, are now fraught with geopolitical tensions. The Foundation's wavering invitation decisions towards Russia, Belarus, and Iran expose the intricacies of aligning international ceremonial functions with prevailing global sentiments. The unfolding saga underlines how even institutions dedicated to peace and human achievement cannot escape the broader currents of international politics. The swift and powerful response from various quarters of the Swedish establishment and global community at large emphasized the moral obligations that accompany the Nobel's rich legacy. Prime Minister Olaf Christensen's vocal stance not only highlights the growing global alignment against perceived aggressors, but also underscores how such platforms, intentionally or not, make potent political statements. As the Nobel ceremonies approach, they become more than just a celebration of achievements. They're a litmus test of global diplomatic alignments and values. The Kolomoisky quagmire, a deep dive into Ukraine's complex oligarchic land in the sprawling tapestry of Ukrainian politics and business, Ihor Kolomoisky stands out as a figure who epitomizes the interplay between wealth and power. His recent entanglement in legal controversies is not just a testament to his personal trajectory, but it provides a broader commentary on the influence of oligarchs in post-Soviet Ukraine. Kolomoisky's persona transcends that of a mere but businessman. He personifies an era where magnates wielded considerable influence, not just in the boardrooms, but also in the corridors of power. His financial empire, now under the scanner, is a window into the endemic challenges that have characterized Ukraine's economic and political milieu for decades. His association with President Zelensky's uh, ascent to power raises pertinent questions about the symbiotic relationship between political aspirants and financial powerhouses. Can true political independence be achieved in such an environment? And to what extent do these relationships impact policymaking and governance? The international community, with bodies like the U.S. State Department leading the charge, has not shied away from voicing concerns over Kolomoisky's alleged improprieties. Such international scrutiny underscores the global stakes tied to Ukraine's internal reforms and the broader geopolitics of the region. The unfolding Kolomoisky narrative is more than an individual's legal battles. It encapsulates Ukraine's broader challenge, navigating its path toward a transparent, accountable, and democratic future while contending with the entrenched legacy of oligarchic dominance and influence. The outcome of this saga will undeniably have lasting implications for Ukraine's political direction, its relations with international allies, and its commitment to eradicating systemic corruption.